surveillance cameras capture a woman calling out for help Tuesday morning, holding her neck and stumbling on Hillendale Drive. Moments after police say she was stabbed by a 41 year old woman who lives around the corner. We saw them tussling kind of where those bushes are. Mm -hmm. um, and then I saw somebody get up and run away. And I thought, it kind of looks like my neighbor, but I didn't really think anything of it. Dr. Alika L. Crew grew up in Columbia. Her undergraduate studies were completed at Brown University. She then attended the University of Pennsylvania School of Dental Medicine for dental school. She received her orthodontic certificate at the Case Western School of Dental Medicine, where she also earned a master's degree in dental science. The Seen Dental Group has employed Dr. Crew for many years, and she enjoys her work as a orthodontist. She delights in giving patients and their families gorgeous smiles, and she particularly enjoys working with them. She lives in Westchester County, New York. York and likes to exercise, read, go to the beach, and spend time outside. Many looking at could say Alika Crew had it all. She had beauty, brains. However, what some people didn't know was that Alika was hiding a secret and that she was dealing with her fiance, Kurtz Howell, cheating on her. Alika finally had enough of her ex fiance infidelity on July 28, 2020. And on that day, she learned what car her romantic rival drove and hid in it. Alika allegedly attacked the opponent with a razor from behind and struck her inside of the neck as soon as the driver sat down. Alika is now accused of pursuing the rival down the street after she fled from the vehicle. The pursuit came to an end not far from Alika and her ex fiance house as Alika ran away. Alika allegedly returned a short while later and pretended to be a concerned neighbor. Unfortunately for Alika, her smarts would not allow her to get away with this crime. According to court documents, Crew was detained at the site after the victim identified her as the attacker when the police arrived. Crew was accused of the first degree unlawful imprisonment, second degree murder, three charges of first degree assault, and two counts of second degree assault. She was also accused of a misdemeanor fourth degree criminal possession of a firearm on the 200,000 bill she had previously posted. She is still free. On November 2, she is expected to go back to court. In my opinion, Alika should have stuck to dealing with teeth because she failed at being a murderer. She threw all her accolades for a low-life cheater that probably couldn't even measure up to her success. According to her neighbor, she was once regarded as a sweet person that got along with everyone. Morrison, however, said that she was, you know, highly professional, caring, sweet, and generous person, of course. But she made the grave decision to throw her reputation away for another man's choices. He will now have the option to move on, meet and mingle with other women, while now she has to deal with all the consequences she's called herself. And my thing is, why in the world would you move your ex-fiance back into your $800,000 home? Why are you trying to help Dusties that clearly should be dusted away in the first place? Alika, you know better, girl. And also what I found even more amusing about the situation is that you went back to the scene and pretended to be a concerned neighbor. What happened? She cut me. She cut you. Neighbor Denise Ward called 911, but the operator told her someone else already called. And I had the police on the phone, and they're like, oh, okay, hold on. Oh, yeah, no, no, we know about it. It's a, it's a dog bite. I said, well, I don't, all right. And she said, somebody else just called. And I said, but that was a ruse. And moments later, the suspect comes back, recognized by her neighbors as a doctor and by the victim as her assailant. She's a doctor. She's a doctor. I'm a doctor. She's lying. It's her. Crew grabs the victim, somewhat restraining the woman, still bleeding and panicked. Police say when officers arrived, Crew told them she was just a bystander trying to help. Like the boldness of it all. Listeners, I have a question. Well, questions. Is there any man worth your freedom? Is he worth everything you struggled for and you worked so hard to maintain all your life? Is he worth it? Thank you so much for listening. If you like this video, please like and subscribe for more.